Chapter 9 The Birth of Thorax Selinkom The summer solstice was approaching. In the best of worlds, Arila Kiran would have enjoyed the prospect of motherhood together with her love, Zelenkosiplexum. Unfortunately, the 1999th summer solstice of the fifth age was not the best of worlds for any of them. She was chained to a hospital bed in the detention center. Her lover had abandoned her, and her jailers kept her alive solely as she was the vessel of her unborn baby. A female doctor approached her and spoke. Would you like to be awake for the cesarean procedure? It is your only chance of seeing your child. Arilla hesitated. She wasn't sure what would be more depressing, to never see her child or to see it once and then have it taken away. Arilla remembered the threat that Sialiap had made that fateful night at the Science Academy. She needed to know whether her child was a beautiful baby or the terrifying freak that Sialiap claimed it would become. Keep me awake. I want to see my baby. Arilla replied. Understood, the doctor said, and injected Arilla with a moderate amount of sedative so she would be awake during the procedure. The surgical team appeared in the room, and they covered Arilla off with a curtain so that she wouldn't see them performing the cesarean section. A surgeon cut the first incision on Arilla's belly. It was uncomfortable, but due to the sedatives, the discomfort wasn't a big issue. Instead, the fear of how the baby would turn out terrified her tremendously. Arilla felt fearful when she heard the surgeons mumbling amongst themselves in horror. Is my child alive? Is something wrong? Arilla shouted in panic. The surgeons went silent and one of them exclaimed, Get Director Samirong! He must decide how to handle this atrocious creature! Arilla grabbed the female doctor she had spoken to earlier and exclaimed, Show me my child! Please! You promised me that you would! I don't think that is possible, unfortunately. We have to make a difficult decision whether to abort or keep this baby, the female doctor replied. You promised me that I would see my child, Arilla exclaimed in an outburst. The doctor sighed, grabbed the atrocious creature and showed it to Arilla. It was truly a sight to behold. The baby had a lizard-like thick scaly skin, sharp devil fangs and glowing purple eyes. The newborn stared at Arilla as she screamed in horror at the sight, and he replied by giving out a terrifying roar. We must sedate her now, the doctor said to one of the nurses who injected Arilla with potent sedatives. The room turned into a blur, and the last thing Arilla heard was Selinko's voice. Don't worry, doctors. My wife and I will look after this prophetical child. We will name him Thorax Selinkom. Arilla tried to call out Selinko for help, but she was too weak, and the room slowly faded to complete blackness. The true maker exited Gaia's body as she became aware of a new existence in the Milky Way galaxy. A Zetan baby had been born, and that baby was unlike anything that had ever existed. This intrigued true maker. Most timelines were unremarkable, but she noticed two unique individuals during this one. Gaia, whom she had spent the last few years inhabiting and observing, and now this new and strange Zetan being. Truemaker studied the DNA of the baby. The baby was a hybrid between the Zetans and the Xenos, two completely different species. One was a sophisticated humanoid-like being with silvery blue skin and telekinetic powers and one was a beast-like creature that eat raw flesh and drink fresh blood. But how had this happened? Large swaths of space in the Milky Way galaxy separated the two species, and they had never interacted with each other. Trimaker looked back in time along Thorax's timeline. She saw how Sialiab altered the baby's genome. Such a strange twist of fate. Trimaker reflected on the progress she had been through in the last few years. As it would seem, enough iterations of the Milky Way galaxy had run for some truly remarkable things to happen. Trumaker took a closer look at Thorax, and she felt the same connection she felt with Gaia. Was it possible to inhabit his body as well? Trumaker focused her powers. A short while later, she flashed through time and space and saw a chaotic hospital ward where tensions were high. She looked at the man who held her naked body. Uh, Papa? 
she babbled before the connection severed.